Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crypeman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, look at transparency uh, in Carrera. Now you notice I'm in the shader room and I'm in the transparency channel. Uh, now if you click on transparency, uh, it has all these other three uh, channels that you can mess with at the same time. Now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these. First of all, intensity is our first one. And uh, you notice that intensity is the intensity of the effect, the intensity of your transparency. Um, higher values, the more transparent your object becomes. Um, let's go ahead and leave that at 75 and uh, take a look at these other ones. The next one in the line is absorption. Absorption is the amount of light that's going to pass through or that it allows to pass through. And you notice it doesn't do anything. Uh, because we haven't clicked this little box right here. Use absorption and now the, absor the absorption starts to happen. And you notice that higher values means more absorption, means less light is going to go through. Um, I'm going to turn that off and let's do in scattering. Your next one is in scattering and in scattering is the amount of light that bounces around inside your object and uh, your in scattering strength the higher your values on your in scattering strength the more light bounces around inside your inside your shader and you can really you know crank that up actually I did and I forgot to turn it back off um, you could really crank this stuff up and and add time to your renders if you want to now uh, those are just some of the basic options of transparency. Let's go ahead and take a look at. Now you notice that uh, this is what we have as far as the there's 75% transparency and there's uh, yeah just a little bit of uh, no I don't have it at 75. 75% transparency that's better. And you notice that it doesn't look, really look like a real glass when it goes through there. Let me show you a little something here. Now, uh, part of selling your glass effect is going to be is going to not just depend on your transparency, but it's also going to depend on your translucency, which honestly, to tell you the truth, I have no idea what the difference between transparency and translucency is, except for in Carrera, transparency has a couple more options in it. Um, what I do know about transparency is the higher that your values, the better gloss you're going to get, I guess. There's a little bit of uh, pretend in scattering and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it'll help you sell your glass effect if that's what you're, if glass is what you're trying to go for. See that right there? See how it catches the light right there? It's kind of its own, has its own in scattering uh, itself. Now, um, but you notice that when we, when we rendered this, uh, it still doesn't look like a glass. Well, it doesn't look like a glass because I modeled it to <laughs> really quickly. So, but uh, yeah, what the thing that's going to help at, help sell your um, sell your glass effect is refraction, and uh, you can go index of refraction, or you can do values. Actually, let's go ahead and do a value and if you keep your eye on the sphere over here I'm going to crank this up to 25 about thereabouts 25 percent refraction 50 percent refraction you notice how it starts turning upside down how you see the sky and you know how warped and distorted it becomes oh. There you go. It won't do completely 100%, but I think you can do 99, if I remember right. Yeah. So, if you want to sell, if you want to sell your glass effect or your water effect, uh, go ahead and throw a little refraction in there. Refraction is uh, how light is bent according to um, your point of view. You know, like. You notice that there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of refraction right there. Light kind of bounces through, and then it starts getting a little hinky right there. Now, if you 
do if you kind of go up from the top view there's a little bit more distortion because the light is going farther away from the viewer's eye so there's that and uh, I think the the last things that are going to help sell a glass effect is probably um, a little bit of reflection and you can you know kind of mess with that a little bit uh, anything over 25 starts to look like a mirror just FYI but um, if you play around with this stuff a little bit and you'll find out that um, you know you can get some really good glass effects but uh, you know it just takes a little it just takes a little time or you can just go to renderosity and get some really cool ones from there um, okay that's it uh, for this time I'm Cripe Man and I'll talk to you again later bye